Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here today to share my five favorite lessons for starting out a classroom or if you're just a beginner. So let's get cracking. Friends, coming in at number one is the Tinkercad house. I've tried to make all the steps super clear. I show you how to use arrow keys. I give you shortcuts. In a classroom, if you're using this, just give the kids the link and let them go. All the words are in there. They can turn on captions to make it more clear. Make sure you teach them to pause every time they see a step, then do the step, and then just keep moving through it. The other thing that I really love about this lesson is if you go to the cards, there are two upgrade videos. So if you've got high flyers that are just cruising through your lessons, or if you're feeling skilled yourself, this is a great place to go to continue your building and maximize your skills. Coming in at number two on the list is the Bigger Better Unicorn Dude. Friends, this teaches you simple parts and it teaches you the work plane, which shows you how to drop parts where you want, which I feel is one of the most important things as you become a master tinkerer. The other huge bonus is that students make this name card, so as you're walking around the classroom, you've got an extra chance to start mastering those student names. Friends, coming in at number three is the Tinkercad Jet. This is a fun lesson. Once again, I've got all the basics in there. Have the kids turn on the comments. It is a great way to start and learn how to build with small parts as you make more epic things. Once again, if you look at the cards, there are ways for students to continue if they're having fun or if you've got some that are moving faster than everyone else. Coming in at number four, friends, is the totally terrific Tinkercad nameplate. This lesson's gonna get rebuilt because I've got a new strategy that makes it a little cooler, but the nice thing about this is students will have access to this nameplate, so every project they build, they can drop it in, and that makes it nice as you're walking around because you can learn the names. It also makes it so if they're turning in screenshots of their work, you can always tell whose is whose. And lesson number five, friends, is this awesome little code blocks eye. In this lesson, friends, I teach you really quick how to make a code block that looks like an eyeball, and then we save it as a part, and then you can add characters to any project you ever make afterwards. This is a lot of fun to add into the house project because then you can merge them and you can actually have characters in the cool house or any project you ever make. Friends, teachers, designers, don't forget you can always reach out to me. I am HLModTech on Gmail, Instagram, and Facebook. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTinkerCAD. And you can also visit HLModTech.com. When you choose Tinkercad Friends, I have circuits, code blocks, what I call the 100 Light Club, the designer showcase where I show off the cool works of others, and Tinkercad designs you can print. The other bonus of this, friends, is you can always use the messaging tool to reach out to me almost instantly. All right, friends, so I hope that helps you out with your upcoming school year and you have a ton of fun tinkering. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.